The Duck and the Kangaroo by Edward Lear, B. Hive, Class 11. About the Poet The British poet and painter known for his wit, Edward Lear was born on May 12, 1812 and began his career as an artist at the age of 15. Lear quickly gained recognition for his work and in 1832 was hired by the London Zoological Society to execute illustrations of birds. In 1846, Leo published a book of nonsense, a volume of limericks, which went through three editions and helped to popularize the form and genre of literary nonsense. The poem was first published in Leo's 1870 collection, Nonsense Songs. This poem depicts a dialogue between a pond-bound duck and a, and a kangaroo who represents the duck's greatest chance at freedom. The duck persuades the kangaroo to take the duck around the world on its back. Stanza 1 said the duck to the kangaroo good gracious how you hop over the fields and the water too as if you never would stop my life is a bore in the nas my life is a bore in this nasty pond and i long to go out in the world beyond i wish i could hop like you said the duck to the kangaroo the duck is awestruck to see the movement of the kangaroo it expressed that the kangaroo could hop continuously over the fields and the water bodies. The duck's life was boring as it remained in the pond all the time. It wished to see the world beyond the limit of the pond. It wished that it could also hop like the kangaroo. Stanza 2 Please give me a ride on your back, said the duck to the kangaroo. I would sit quite still and say nothing but quack. The whole of the long day through... And we would go to the D and the Jelly Bowly, over the land and over the sea. Please take me a ride, oh do, said the duck to the kangaroo. In stanza 2, the duck gives a request to the kangaroo to give it a ride on its back. It promised that it would sit quietly and would just quack all day. The duck list out the places that they would visit as D River and the Jelly Bowly. It asked that they would hop over the land and the waters. In stanza 3, said the kangaroo to the duck, This requires some little reflection. Perhaps, on the whole, it might bring me luck. And that seems but one objection, which is, If you will let me speak so bold, your feet are unpleasantly wet and cold, and it probably give me the rheumatis, said the kangaroo. The kangaroo replied that it had to think over it. This idea could be good for him, but... He had an objection that the duck's feet is wet and cold and it could give him body pain. Here the word rheumatis refers to rheumatism. Uh, the kangaroo is afraid that he may suffer from rheumatism because of the duck's wet feet. Stanza 4 Said the duck, as he sat on the rocks, I have thought over that completely and I bought four pairs of worsted socks which fit my web feet neatly and to keep out the cold I bought a clock and every day a cigar I smoke. Here the duck says that as it sat on the rocks during the day it had thought over it in order to avoid uh, that the duck had bought four pairs of worsted socks which fitted its web shaped feet well. Here worsted is a high quality woolen yarn. Uh, so the duck has bought, uh, bought a socks of high quality wool. In order to stay warm, it would, uh, it would wear a shrug and also smoke a cigarette every day. The duck would do all this to protect the kangaroo as it was a beloved. Said the kangaroo, I am ready, all in, the moon, uh, all in the moonlight pale, but to balance me well, dear duck, sit steady and quiet at the end of my tail. So away they went with a hop and a bound. And they hopped the whole world three times round. And who so happy? Oh, who? As the duck and the kangaroo. In stanza 5, the poet says that the kangaroo is honest to its words and leaves for the journey with the moonlit sky as their guide. The duck stuck fast and tightly to the kangaroo's tail. And they both journeyed across the world multiple times. They were enjoying each other's company immensely. This poem is about finding friendship in strangest places. Here the bond is established between two different animals, an aspirational duck and a free-spirited kangaroo. The duck feels like a prisoner inside a pond. The duck desires to escape from the small place and do adventure with the kangaroo. 
through this parable the poet imagines the pain of a being who is a pain of a person who is caged and imprisoned and cannot enjoy the freedom of movement and friendship freedom is something that is valued by all beings thank you for detailed notes and question and answers log on to edigurunotes blogspot.com